Hi everyone, Mikey Bly here, and uh, today we're back with the Clock Chronicle, and um, we got this wonderful looking dude just staring at us. He's been staring for like two days since I last played this game. Um, he hasn't taken his eyes off me, and it's been just a little bit con disconcerting. <laughs> um, but yeah, in the last episode, I guess it was the law show. Um, and you know what? I still, I, I've been thinking about this too for the last two days. I feel so bad about just the mispronunciations of name because I don't know. Azan still confuses me. I'm gonna stick with Azan for now. Could be a Zen. A Zine, a Zine. It's to uh, that's, uh, oh, that's a toughie that one. But Law, I that we were I was told specifically how to pronounce that name, and I still decided to just bloody just chuck Lou out there because it looks like Lou, and I'm I feel I honestly feel terrible because I know that there is just more to just names than what's right in front of you. Just because I've got one of the most bloody standard names that exists doesn't mean that everybody else does, and I should not have just assumed that Lou was Lou in that instance because it wasn't Lou was law Lou is law so I'm just gonna just stick that in my brain and I won't do that again and now let's see who this is let's do this come on I am um, kind of curious I suppose to see who this is the politics between the south and the north when are we ever going to end this oh well if you're talking about ending the population, then that's not a bad thing. Presumably. Yes, who is it? It's me, Captain Fay, Prince Reben. Come in, Reben, huh? Take your time, no rush. Get your spear up my flipping face, will you? Jeez, Fay. It's rare of you to come visit me this late at night. Yes, about that. There's a letter from Palimur. Or let us say, uh, a letter from the mechanic. No, it's not from Eden, it's from me. I wrote it. Unless you're trying to call me mechanic, but I clearly didn't even lay hands on anything and fix anything. So I think you might be jumping the gun a bit there. The mechanic. I dare say it's another spam letter. Oh yes, back in the old days before spam emails were a thing. Let me tell thee how to save on ye old ye genitalia enhancements. How do we stop receiving this kind of junk? <laughs> it's different this time, Prince. There's a strange human who could probably fix the clock tower. What made you think I could fix it? I didn't even know what was going on. I was the most idiotic, clueless-looking person around. How? How could you? You know, it's fine. It's fine, if you think so. Fix the clock. That's odd. You do know what fixing the clock means, right? Uh-oh. Do we know what it means? Apparently, the human doesn't even know about the clock tower. Never seen him around before. There didn't have, I did, but I did. I came to specifically look at the clock tower. I mean, unless you mean I don't know about whatever you're talking about, what fixing the clock tower would mean. Who exactly is the person you're talking about? Mikey came from a far country, they said. But a bit of an idiot to me, but you know, I guess don't take people at face value. Well, interesting. Captain Fay, get Mikey for me. Oh, am I being dragged to the other side of the border here? Understood, Your Majesty. Shouldn't take too much convincing. I am kind of allergic to being stabbed with spears. Well, get along with it. Excuse me, sir. Mikey, huh? Sounds like a real goof. 
No, it's morning again. Lou should be... Ah, I did it without even thinking. See? Stupid brain. Lou should be barging into this room in three, two, one. Right on cue. Oh. Uh, well, I mean, uh, wrong guess. Good morning, Mikey. Breakfast is ready outside. Um, Azan, was it? Where's Law and Eden? Law and Eden have some errands to do in the local market. They'll probably be back before lunch. So you can rest easy for today and take a break from all the hard work they forced you to do. I wouldn't say I did any specific hard work at the clock tower. Um, but uh, that seaweed drying. Yeah, that was hard work. Law really had me run ragged yesterday. Uh, no, they didn't force me to do anything. That's true, actually. We were, we were, we were very voluntarily took on the stuff, yes. Really now? I thought they were forcing you to help out with their jobs. No. Did they tell you they forced me to do it? Because if they told you that, then why would they want to make you believe that they were such horrible people? No, no, no. What made you think that? Well, I've seen you running around with Eden and Lou for two days straight, drying seaweed with Lou and carrying Eden's tools to the relatively far central clock. Oh yeah, I forgot about carrying the tools. That's just because I'm nice. Looks as if you're working for them, actually. Well, if I'm working for them, I ain't getting paid for it. Uh, no. You got it all wrong. Contrarily, they were helping me in completing the strange task I have to do. Oh? A strange task? What's that supposed to be? I have no fucking idea. I was hoping someone would have told me by now. Uh, that is... You didn't need nothing. Should I tell them about Zephyr in my dream? Am I transportation here? I doubt you believe me. I think we've told name enough everybody else we've barged into though, so I don't see what difference it makes telling us on. Do it. I'm going to be open and honest, even if it makes me look stupid. So, how do I start? Uh, okay. So a strange lady appeared in my dreams, telling me to fix something. Before I could process what was happening, I found myself in a forest. I stumbled around, and the next thing I knew, I was on this bed. Uh, Laura and Eden said they found me lying on the beach. Honestly, I couldn't make out where I was going in the storm. I was lucky, you know, if the good people found me. <sighs> Need me to slow down a little bit? This is... I was trying to get through it as quick as possible because I don't want you to spend all morning listening to me babble on, you know. Ah, oh, that's sweet. Am I included in one of the good people? I don't know yet. I think we need to have a couple more sit-downs with each other before I make that kind of commitment. Am I supposed to reply to this? Wouldn't hurt. <laughs> Just joking. Let's go to the kitchen. My cooking will get cold if you don't eat the food now. Oh, you cook? Why would you assume that he couldn't? I can cook, do people assume I can't? You don't have to tell me that. You don't have to all dive in and just say, what, you don't cook, don't be stupid. <clears throat> of course, it's a life skill. It's right, you know, and I'm not saying you have to be an awesome cook. Just learn some basic stuff, right? As long as you've got some of the basics down, you're good to go. Can't spend all your life sticking things in the microwave and like making sandwiches <clears throat> just because I'm a big fan of sandwiches I can cook when I need to cook okay I see a fire extinguisher on the wall which is a little wait this is very off-putting it's a very modern looking kitchen compared to what we've seen so far <clears throat> smells good what are we smelling Oh, of course it's fish. We're right next to the flipping beach. Everything's bloody fish and seaweed and seagulls. Those seagull skewers, man. I hope you like fish, Mikey. Seafood's pretty much the only thing we have here. Fabulous. <sighs> okay, fish for breakfast. I know it's a thing somewhere with some people, but I can't. I can't cope with that. Like, uh, fish is definitely a 
it's a now and again kind of a thing for me. A little bit of sushi now and again, a good fish and chips. That's pretty much my limit. No allergies, right? If I said yes, could you find something else for me? I sit on the table's chair and Azan sits on the chair in front of me. There's a lot of food on the table. Fried fish, fried rice with salted fish, fried eggs, and what looked like fried seaweed. I'd probably have some of the fried eggs, maybe some of the fried seaweed. I wouldn't mind a bit of that, maybe. Everything is fried. Good, just how I like it. Yes, you might have noticed it by now. Everything is fried. Wow, you read my mind. I should say something. Thanks for the food, maybe? Might be a nice thing to say. What? What's that meant to mean? Everything he was fried just like you. What? Just like me? Crap. I probably said something really rude. I keep forgetting. I'm not in my hometown anymore. It's not like I had a choice. The words blurred out of my mouth without me getting to decide. I'm glad. This Mikey is so much like this Mikey. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, it's just a joke. You know, we were joking about with the puns yesterday on the beach. Remember, I was just trying to kind of keep that ticket. Oh, you mean my skin color? I get that a lot. Is that what we were referring to? I feel even worse now. <laughs> oh, shit. I didn't even put two and two together to figure that one out. Oh, that's a horrible thing to say. Oh, I'm ashamed. Oh my god. I get that a lot. I'm not originally from Palmer. I was in Hoshira, Hoshira Desert for as long as I can remember. Where the sun is a pro in colouring my skin. Yeah, I, try. I just go red. That's all happens to me. I don't, I don't, I can't. can't. The sun hits me and I hit the sun. Everybody who likes the sun, also good for you. You go out there and you enjoy it as much as you want. I'll just be chilling in here in the basement doing nothing except trying to stay cool. Ha 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 ha. Wait, does that mean you just moved here recently? Hmm, yeah. Seems to have got settled in with law pretty quickly. You could say that. Wait, that's suspicious. What do you mean you could say that? Well, what would you say? Why? I... I'm not sure myself. What? Maybe I didn't quite feel that place is right for me, you know? Have you ever felt that way? Uh, you, uh, you talk about being somewhere that you didn't feel like you fit in? Yeah, I've been there before. Only one place. Two places. Yeah, two places where I didn't quite feel at home, right? But where I am now, I love it. I'm settled. I'm happy. I feel pretty well rooted. Um, so yeah, I do. I get what you. I get what you mean. That's what I'm saying. I get what he's talking about. I'm not sure. No, I'm sure. This Mikey outside of the screen is sure. He can relate. What about your friends and family in the desert? Are you going to tell me you didn't have any? Oh, the food's getting cold. We should eat right away, especially fried food. Yeah, you don't want fried food to go cold. Mm. Some some stuff tastes better cold, but fried stuff, no. It's much better when it's crackling hot. Zan, a pro in avoiding questions since 1900. 1900, you say? Okay, thank you for the food. Hum, 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 hum. Now the eating sequence done. Uh, you cook well, son. Never thought I'd enjoy that much fried food in one sitting. First thing in the morning. <laughs> okay, I'm from the bloody land of bloody full English breakfasts. <laughs> so what, what am I saying? I couldn't handle that much fried food in the morning. Made for it. That was one delicious breakfast. I finished eating breakfast. I gathered that. I have to admit I ate more than I used to. Perhaps it's because of the energy I spent in going with Eden and Law for these past two days. Glad you liked it. Yeah, but the fried seaweed. Ah, did you try it? 
Sorry, I should have put that on the table. I've seen my fair share and a lifetime's worth of seaweed these last couple of days, and I could probably do with never looking at it ever again. Tastes kind of weird. Uh, it's Law's favourite food. I didn't cook that, by the way. Law did. Ah, uh, that's why it tastes weird. Gotcha. That guy refuses to eat his meals without seaweed. He eats seaweed and seaweed alone most of the time. Sometimes I'm worried about him and his unhealthy diet. Haha, <laughs> amusing. <laughs> yeah, he's on a healthy diet. It's going to probably kill him in some way or another. Ha, <laughs> hilarious. I'm terrible at conversation. Anyway, I'm free this morning. Do you want to go anywhere? I can be your chaperone for the day. I don't need a chaperone. I'm a big boy. Don't you have to work? <laughs> fishing, you mean? I usually fish at night. There are a lot of people fishing in the morning. It means tougher competition. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. Let them all do their morning fishing. And the fish, fi the fish, the fish catch on and go, uh oh, here they all come for the morning fish. Quick, swim away, everybody. And then it's not just fishes alone at night. And the fish are like, ah, we've got less chance of being caught. There's only one dude sat there with the pole. Let's all just flock back. And fine, if he catches one or two of us, it's great. He's not catching all of us. Anyway, you said that you suddenly found yourself in a forest. Could it be the Misty Mystic Forest near the borderline? A Misty Mystic Forest. Misty Mystic Forest. It's a good one. That one. Say that ten times fast. Misty Mystic Forest. Misty Mystic Forest? If it's Misty and Mystic at the same time, then uh, yeah, I guess so. If it's also really hard to see through, then yeah, definitely. All the Misty kind of covers that part, I suppose. <laughs> then why don't we investigate that place instead of revisiting the central clock? Might be some clues there. You try to go at the clock with Eden, right? I'm not very really knowledgeable myself, but even though the barrier's broken, I'm pretty sure the security there is tight. Hmm. Yeah. That sounds like a good idea. Let's go to a forest together. Person I've only met twice. Briefly. Do you mind accompanying me, Azan? We already offered to be my chaperone, so I'm guessing that's a no-brainer of an answer. Hey, it's fine. I'm jobless in the mornings anyway. Let's go. Nice. Let's have a nice... Stroll through the forest. <laughs> huh. Let's not forget to lock the doors. I hope Lord Eden brought a spare key. Ah, nuts to it. If they didn't, they can just sit on the beach for a bit, right? It's a nice day, not raining. Zan, do you mind me asking a question? This residence, only the three of you live in here? Oh. Didn't Lord Eden tell you? Tell me what? Evidently they didn't. It's not exactly an orphanage, but... An orphanage? We just said it's not an orphanage. Not an orphanage. I'm guessing people who don't have any parents kicking around end up living in here. Not yet in Final Fantasy VIII vibes. I heard when the war between Palamer and Zathania took place, there were many victims who lost their homes and families. So this is kind of like a place of refuge for them that the president set up. And over this, uh, over time, this house, you see, became a home for many people. All of whom moved on to bigger and better things. There's just us three losers left here. Although not blood-related, the people who live here are a close-knit family. Wait, President? Heh, <laughs> Palomar Beach has no king. We run on democracy. Smart. Oh, I had no idea. Am I from a land of royalty or something? Is this why I'm confused by the fact there's a president? So both Lord Eden, they were victims of the war? Is that, are you a victim of the war too? Uh, no. At least I think I'm not. There's a lot you don't know about yourself, good buddy. Maybe taking you to the mystic, misty mystic forest will jog some memories for you. Why the uncertainty? Well... Technically, everyone's allowed to stay in this residence. There's not many Palomar citizens to begin with anyway. I'd like to think that it's fate at work when I encountered Law and Eden when I travelled here. Knowing that I have no place to stay, they accepted me with open arms. I usually sleep in my boat, but I sleep in one of the residence's rooms once in a while or if it rains. It's been nice to have the kind of weather where you can just sleep in a boat. That's not a houseboat. But is it alright for me to stay here? Huh. <laughs> Eden found you and brought you here. It should be fine. 
President too. He's a kind man. Okay. Good to know the president's not going to come over here and beat me up for staying in a house I shouldn't be staying in, I guess. So I'll hold you back. Let's go now. Will we get to or are we going to get stopped by fear somewhere? Oh no, we made it. Not so misty today. So, Mikey, do you remember what happened when you were transported here out of the blue? No, I stumbled through some misty, foggy stuff and then I woke up and I, I was on a beach. Hmm. I recall that the supposed misty mystic forest wasn't a bright, wasn't as bright and sunny as this. It was so dark and so foggy that I couldn't even see the view two meters ahead of me. Probably why I walked into about fifty trees. Hmm. The mysteriously mystic mystic forest, mysteriously misty mystic forest. Oh my God! Stop with the M's. I do like alliteration, but man, it will only be misty during miserable weather. Huh? You mean just like everywhere else? But you don't call it the misty, mysterious beach when it's foggy there, do you? But I still don't get it. How were you just abruptly transported here? Are you sure you weren't knocked out and sent as cargo here? Maybe you were sedated. Check for a, check for a pole the back of my neck. Did someone pop a dart in there or something? No, then I guess I was mysteriously transported here then. There's no other explanation for it. I hope I wasn't. So how did he get here? Do you believe in magic? Magic? Why the sudden question? Because that's the only possible explanation for my existence here. I don't know anything about Palomar or Zanier or Ow, the desert that you're talking about, or the president, or flippin' seaweed. Okay, I guess I know about seaweed, but you know, not as much as Law seems to know. I don't know. Does magic actually exist? It does if I say it does. Anyway, I'll just search around for a bit. Maybe there's a clue? A hidden contraption or something? A mysterious switch? Maybe this is all just an illusion and I can turn it off? Huh. Okay. Hmm. I continued to search around the vicinity for a few minutes with Azan slowly trailing behind me. The forest was bigger than I thought it would be. Just hope we wouldn't get lost. And we're lost! I think we've been walking around for almost two hours now, but I still couldn't find anything. It's a big forest. No traces of the cause I was sent here. I don't even remember where I found myself that stormy night. But more importantly... Uh, Azan? Yes, what is it, Maggie? Uh, I know this is odd to ask, given that I uh, <laughs> took the lead, but uh, um, where exactly are we? Uh-oh. Good question. The answer is, don't say you don't know. If you say you don't know, I am going to leave you behind. Ah, be free! Be free as I run into the forest! Be free! God damn it. Seriously? You don't? Aren't you familiar with this forest? I just moved here a while back. I don't know these parts as well as Law and Eden do. Well, why didn't you stop me from walking around like an idiot for two hours before mentioning that? And besides, you were the one walking in front. I simply followed your footsteps. You seem to be taking this extremely well, by the way. Gee, thanks. You're welcome. They obviously don't have sarcasm here in this dimension. Great. Now we're lost. Let's try and find a way back. I think if we go left, we would reach the beach. You think? I, I'll take it. I guess that's the best we'll get for now. Wait, did we go in a circle? Ah, it's this way. I'm pretty sure about my instinct this time. Then he's got to cut again. It's like, I think I recognize that rock. That's the same rock we saw 20 minutes ago. Uh, Zan? Didn't we pass this thicket before? Ah, it's already happening. See? Huh? What are you saying? It's definitely the right way. No, it's not. I marked a few trees when we walked. This tree has the mark I made on it. Really? 
Zan, I will never trust your instinct. Ever again. Gee, this is a nice friendly conversation to be having when we're lost in the forest together. <sighs> Ouch. That cut right through my gut. Well, we've run around for nearly three hours now. There's only so much energy fried food gives you, you know. I think I'm starting to run low. <laughs> so let's admit it. We're lost. Uh, uh, no way. I can't believe we don't know the way. Oh, did you do a, do, a, a, do, a way, Jordan? No, I ain't doing it. Google Maps would be useful at a time like this. Free advertising. Google. Paycheck, please. Paycheck. What's that? Uh, nothing. Never mind. It's it's a yes. So what's the plan now? Do we just sit here and have a picnic? I'm sure, I could rustle up some hmm, some leaf sandwiches. Um, maybe a couple of uh, not at all suspicious looking mushrooms and some uh, some lovely uh, tree bark sprinkled with mud for dessert. How's that? We could trust my instinct and keep on going. I learned a new lesson today. Never trust your instincts. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I don't mean that in general. Never trust your instincts. Your instincts. Maybe we should just go ahead and trust mine. Why don't we just walk backwards from where I started, where I led us? Then I guess we'll have to improvise, adapt, and overcome. True that. Oh, shh. I hear something. Oh, Remy. Oh, oh, that guy, I guess. Who's he? He's a postman. He might know the way. Stop doing the way. Oh, God. <laughs> Hi, postman Remy. Don't mind us bumping into you in the middle of nowhere. Uh, ah, Mikey, was it? What the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> yeah, what are you doing in this forest? Well, we, uh, we got lost. Just a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Uh, we? Don't mind me, I'm just going to sneak right on up next to you and say hello. Who? You, who are you? Azan, nice to meet you. Oh, Azan, I'm Remy. A new courier for Zithania. Still don't completely 100% trust Remy, but you know, gives off a nice kind of calming aura either way. Do you have deliveries in these areas, Remy? The Mystic Forest is a shortcut. It's faster and more efficient to traverse across this forest of polymer. Oh, that's right. I have a letter to send to you, Mikey. Oh, so, wait. Ha, huh? wait, hang on. What, wait, is this from Fair? When Faye was sent to get me, I assumed they were just going to come and poke me with the big pointy stick until I went in the direction they wanted me to go in. Not that he was going to write me a letter saying, Hello, could you please come visit? Please, thank you, XOXO, Faye. For me? Remember when you sent the letter with Eden the other day? There's a reply from the Zithanian authorities. Here you go, Maggie. Remy hands me an envelope with my name written on it. I never got letters back home. My sent plenty. Stressed to me. Yeah, because the, the yeah because the mailman's lying to you. Yes, it seems that way. Thanks, Remy. No problem. Made my job easier anyway. <laughs> One less delivery. Hey, uh, we're kind of lost here. Do you know how to get out of this forest? <laughs> if you just go left, you'd reach the clearing. Left? Wait, wasn't Azan talking about going left? Ha! See? What did I tell you, Mikey? Mm, but how? I was pretty sure we passed this way. Let's go quickly before Lo and Eden return. I'm worried if they didn't bring the spare key. Wait, if we're sure we passed this way before and then all of a sudden they boom, just like magic, the, the, it goes back the way we thought it went. Did Remy have something to do with that? Is this forest a little bit more mystical than it first led on, or what? Uh, see you, Remy, I guess. See ya. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh, see? Bad vibes. Bad vibes. 
Oh, don't like, don't like, do, do not trust that. Do not trust that one second. Nope. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I love that clear blue. Huh? Do we make a wrong turn? Is that? Sorry, sorry, what is it, Maggie? We did you get hypnotized by the waves too? It's fine, it's fine. We've all been there. Dude, what's wrong? Nothing, nothing. Clearly something, but I'm gonna say nothing anyway. I just feel that I've been here before. This is a nice place. Are we on the right track back to Palomar? Yes, the water below is definitely the ocean. If we just follow this cliff, we should reach Palomar Beach eventually. Eventually? How long is eventually? <laughs> ah, I need some more food and a drink, even if it's some of those horrible seaweed beer. Anyway, don't tread near the edge of the cliff, Mikey. It's dangerous. Oh, right, jeez. Why? Lingering near the edge of any cliff is dangerous. Why would it be any different to lingering near the edge of a cliff here? Huh? There's also this, if you look at the top right of this screenshot, there's a pair of legs. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't want to detract. I don't want to break the illusion. It just stood out and I'm like, I'm not the only one who's going to notice this. I'm going to mention it. You can see that the cliff is very steep. No, more like concave. And the waves are so strong that even an experienced swimmer will be engulfed by the ocean. Okay, well, a little mental note. Don't push each other around here then. If you fall down, you won't be able to get back up. You'll probably die of exhaustion. Your body will forever be drowned into the ocean, never to be found again. Whoa, dark, much? Jeez, turn it around, man. That's why it's called the Devil's Cliff. Jesus, man, stop scaring me. Ugh, spoopy stories and stuff. Why do I feel that this place is nostalgic? I've never even been here. Wait, did he lose family members here somehow? Family trip to Devil's Cliff. Sounds like a great idea. Oh no, was that everybody fell off the cliff and died except you? You <laughs> go on and live, live a full life, and don't forget about us, okay? I'd love to stay and enjoy this beautiful yet deadly sight, but we gotta move, Mikey. You're all right. When you're right, you're right. Can we make it back? Hey, we're back home. Fantastic. And they didn't bring the spare key by the looks of it. Well, you two suckers are going to have to wait outside for a while because me and Azan have been on very important adventures and learned absolutely nothing about anything, but it was still super important. It was relationship building. That's what was going on there. Okay, so we had to get that done. So you're going to have to just loiter around there for a little bit longer. We'll be back soon, probably, you hope. <laughs> um, okay, another episode where... Uh, it's kind of interesting because the last episode was basically just a, it was like a me and Law hanging around, hanging around, hanging out and learning more about each other. This episode, me and Zan hanging out, learning more about each other. A boot? Oh dear. Learning more about each other. So I like that. It kind of worked, worked out pretty well the way these little chunks are going. So next time, I guess we'll read that letter that we got from Zathania. What's Remy got to do with all of this, though? Why does Remy look so pissed off and concerned about me in particular? Uh, there's definitely something off about that guy. Definitely something off about him. Mm. Mm. But hey-ho, we'll find out what pretty soon. Haha, <laughs> maybe. Uh, if you want to play the croc... Croc? I can't bloody speak! If you want to play the Clock Chronicle, it's all the ting tung tick it's all the tongue twisters. Stupid bloody mystical misty forest. Um if you want to play the clock chronicle for yourselves, link is in the description below. Good grief. Before you go anywhere. If you've enjoyed this absolute tongue twistery nightmare of an episode of this game don't forget to one the like button subscribe button and ring LinkedIn that notification bell if you feel so inclined to do so it's okay I'm not gonna push you off devil's cliff no matter how close to the edge you get it's fine
fine. No, it's all good. I'm not going to do that at all. Uh, if you have any the game recommendations for me, or just want a bit of a general chit chat, then you can have at it in the comments below, or you can catch me on my social medias. I have been Mikey Bly, and I hope you all have yourselves a fantastic morning, afternoon, evening, or night, and I will see you all next time around. Bye for now.